Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be replacing a eight station Rainbird controller. All right, first step, turn off your power. Don't wanna get shocked in the process. On this particular controller, it tells you if there's power coming in. And if your controller doesn't, over here, I have two multimeters. One's a little cheaper, one's a little more expensive. With this here, you can check your power coming into the controller. All right, one way of testing is taking your two leads and attaching it to the 24 vac terminals. All right, one thing I like to do is mark the wires. Here's zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, zone five, zone six, and zone seven. There's my common wire. All right, and the red and black wire here are for the rain sensor. All right, removed all the wires. You're gonna wanna remove this little washer so you can take the controller off the wall. All right, here's another screw. You wanna remove that. All right, there's one more screw back here that's holding the controller to the wall. Very simple, just slide the controller up. All right, we're not gonna need this pigtail, so we're gonna have to remove it. The two screws will remove the bracket. You're gonna wanna pop this little ring out. All right, super simple. Here's the new controller. Attached all the wires back. Not a bad job, huh? All right, we can turn the power back on. All right, we got power to the controller. We did a good job. Here you can see I'm testing the controller to make sure sending power to the solenoids. <laughs> 